So do you remember how last year Senator Kirsten Sinema was obstructing the totality of her own party's legislative agenda? Well, turns out after seeing the fundraising totals for Q4 of 2021, as she was doing that, conspicuously, she was getting lots and lots of money from the Republican Party's core base of donors. I'm shocked. Totally shocked. I'm sure you can sense my sarcasm, but this is not surprising. Uh, what should stand out to people is the amount of money she took, because we're talking $1.5 million. Yeah. So they were paying her to do a very specific thing, and she did deliver. In fact, she's still delivering for the Republican Party, since she, along with Joe Manchin, just unilaterally killed voting rights legislation. But let's talk about her donors here. So as Brian Schwartz of CNBC reports, Senator Kirsten Sinema's campaign raised over $1.5 million toward the end of 2021 as she opposed key elements of her own party's agenda, according to new Federal Election Commission records. Sinema, who represents Arizona and is up for re-election in 2024, with a possible primary challenge on the way, raised the amount during the October-December period. Sinema's donors in the fourth quarter included wealthy investors who had supported ex-president Donald Trump. Home Depot co-founder and billionaire investor Ken Langone donated $5,800. Langone backed Trump in 2016 and supported several of his economic policies. The cinema campaign received an identical amount from another billionaire investor, Nelson Peltz, who hosted a 2020 Trump fundraiser at his Florida home. Tickets for the event went up to over $580,000 per couple and was expected to raise $10 million for Trump's then-joint fundraising committee, which also helped raise cash for the Republican National Committee. Real estate executive Harlan Crow also donated to Cinema's campaign. Crow has given six-figure checks to GOP super PACs, including over $500,000 to the Congressional Leadership Fund in 2018. Cinema also picked up donations from major corporations and business groups, including from the Carlyle Group, Gilead Sciences, Microsoft, Cigna, and the American Petroleum Institute. So she happily accepted all of this money from some of the GOP and Donald Trump's most prolific fundraisers. She is shameless. And it's funny, after running on lowering the cost of prescription drugs, she opposes it after taking money from uh, pharmaceutical companies. After saying she wants to do something about climate change, well, she takes money from the American Petroleum Institute, and then all of a sudden she's blocking that agenda. Isn't all of this a little bit conspicuous? It's almost as if she's a puppet and her donors are the puppeteers controlling her. But imagine being a Democrat and accepting money from some of Trump's biggest fundraisers in 2020. As he's telling Black Lives Matter activists, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. As he's threatening to use the military against the American people, as he's pushing the big lie, Kirsten Sinema is saying, you know what, I'll take money from the people who funded that. But believe it or not, it gets worse because that's just the individual donors in the GOP who contributed to her. So she has a pack that is called, get this, um, Getting Stuff Done Pack. That's literally the name of it. So as she is obstructing her own party's agenda and stopping them from getting anything done, she has a pack called the Getting Things Done Pack. And the individuals and uh, companies, organizations who contributed to this pack is also very telling. Her separate leadership political action committee, which is called Getting Stuff Done Pack, raised over $470,000 in the second half of 2021 FAC record show. Peltz donated another $5,000 in December to the committee. George Roberts, the co-founder of investment juggernaut KKR and a prolific Republican donor wrote a check for the same amount a month earlier. Democratic mega donors also flooded her PAC's account, including Jonathan Gray, the president of private equity giant Blackstone, as did corporations. The committee received $5,000 from Fox Corp PAC, the political action committee for Fox News's parent company. That donation came in October. The Fox PAC is financed by Rupert Murdoch and his son, Lachlan. The elder Murdoch contributed $5,000 to the corporate corporate committee in December. So the news organization, news, I'm using the word news very charitably here, who pushed the big lie and is supporting Republicans in states across the country as they suppress the vote, which was an effort that was catalyzed by the big lie, they're donating to the pack of a Democrat? It doesn't make sense, but I thought that all Democrats were evil. Well, for some reason, they really have taken a liking to Kirsten Cinema. Rupert Murdoch's PAC is donating to a Democrat, Kirsten Cinema. 
And she happily accepted that. Is anyone surprised by any of this? I mean, you shouldn't be surprised. But to be fair to Kirsten Cinema, she's not alone because Joe Manchin also raked in the cash as he killed the Democratic Party's agenda. Manchin has also received a wave of support from wealthy financiers and corporations, including Langone. Manchin's campaign also previously saw contributions from the Fox Corp PAC. Manchin's campaign raised a similar amount to cinemas during the fourth quarter, including nearly $300,000 from executives and companies after he spoke against Biden's $1.75 trillion social and climate spending package known as Build Back Better. Like cinema, Manchin is not up for re-election until 2024. So for anyone who's still claiming that you can't criticize Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema because, you know, we need them because Democrats only have a really slim majority. And so if they flip teams and they join the Republican Party, then Democrats are screwed, except they've already flipped teams. They've switched sides. They're, they're taking money from the GOP's donors and they're doing the bidding of the Republican Party, even aiding them in their effort to kill democracy because they just blocked voting rights legislation. So for people worried about the prospect of them switching teams, they've already done it. These are Republicans. These aren't Democrats. These are Republicans. And anyone who still purports that these are uh, moderate Democrats is delusional because ideologically they are indistinguishable from elected Republicans. They've already switched sides. They are Republicans. Democrats have already lost the slim majority that they have. In fact, you could argue they never had it, but what is left of, you know, an, an agenda getting passed, they killed it. They both killed it. So they're already Republicans. The only different, uh, the only functional difference, I should say, that uh, would be made if they literally changed their registration to Republicans would be that Mitch McConnell would become the Senate majority leader again instead of Chuck Schumer. But I mean, the effect will be the same. Nothing will be passed. Mitch McConnell will not allow any legislation from the House that gets passed to be voted on. It's the same fucking thing. So it doesn't matter how many Democrats are in Congress. What matters is that we have people in Congress who actually care about the right policies. And these individuals are, functionally speaking, de facto Republicans. And for anyone who doesn't see that, they just have the blinders on. But I mean, when you have members of the Democratic Party taking money, this much money from GOP donors, and you still have members of the Democratic Party afraid to call them out. You have the president of the United States refusing to exert even a minimal amount of pressure on them and call them out by name. That shows you that the Democratic Party is just incredibly, pathetically weak. And they should be embarrassed, but they have absolutely no shame whatsoever. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.